Well, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has given the Federal Government of Nigeria a 21-day ultimatum to address all outstanding issues. Uh, ASU National President Professor Emmanuel Osodeke said this at a press conference in Umwa here. The union that took a complete review of the outcomes from its engagement with federal and state government on various outstanding issues that have encumbered the development of our university and hindered university workers' drive to reposition them for the transformation of Nigeria as a country. The meeting further appraised worsening living and working conditions in our universities and the nation at large. The meeting received alarming reports on the failed promises of the government in addressing the, the lingering issues that forced the union to embark on a nationwide strike between February and October 2022. Seizing and experienced scholars and lecturers have come to flee to other countries that are less endowed than Nigeria, but where their expertise is better appreciated. Report presented to NEC indicates, indicated that government does not appreciate the enormity of the problem and the dare need to arrest the ugly trend with almost urgency. Our union is worried that government appears fixated on a self-serving approach of legalistic and bureaucratic arm twisting. Well, joining me now is uh, Professor Kashim Umar, who is the Abu Jali Zone Officer at the Academic Staff Union of Universities. And uh, good to see you and thanks uh, for your time. Uh, Nigerians are saying ASU again. Uh, perhaps uh, let's start by talking about the specific demands of ASU uh, to the government uh, in this current dispute. Well, our demand of Academic Staff Union of University is not new. It has been uh, in the public domain far back to 2009. Uh, but as it is, we went back on strike, which lasted for about seven to eight months, 2022. And uh, we look at it in the federal and uh, the National Executive Council we discovered that the federal government has not done anything about the issue that led us to embark on that strike. And what are these issues? The first is the renegotiation of our 2009 federal government ASO agreement. Uh, also, the revitalization fund, adequate fund for the university system in Nigeria, uh, the proliferation of university in Nigeria, uh, creating, establishing university, more universities, we have about 170 universities in Nigeria today. Um, <clears throat> also, the payment of our promotion and withheld salary, sundry areas, the third party deductions, and the long battle of uh, IPPIS with the can, federal can government. Can you make a clarification also, on yeah. the third party deduction? What do you mean third party deduction? Yeah, third party deduction as part to check off, check off dues of the union money, uh, also the cooperative money. Uh, these are all third party deductions which uh, the federal government, both, the, both in the state universities and federal universities up to today, they are seeing who are members. I, I need us to get this clear. Yeah. Deductions taken from members of ASU uh, are being withheld yeah. by the governments, yeah, the of federal course. and state. Yes, of course. So, so it, 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 what steps has ASU taken to negotiate uh, with the government before issuing this 21-day ultimatum? Uh, as you know, our union is a union of inter uh, intellectuals. There are a lot of correspondences which the union have exchanged between uh, our union, the principal officers, to the federal government, but nothing, absolutely nothing has been done. They are, the issues have not been adequately attended to. So many correspondents. In fact, it's got to a point now, the union need to issue this ultimatum because fake promises of meetings 
and uh, so many things have not, in fact, it's not all going well. So when you say so many things, are there new issues or just uh, the uh, recurring issues? Uh, these, are the re these are recurrent issues. I, I, so for so example, they are not, you don't have new demands, no, new issues? There, there is no new demands as part of these issues that led us to strike. I've been sure we said, in fact, the issue in memoranda of uh, actions with the government also agreed back to 2021 as all, all these issues has been in the public domain and with the government and in fact coming in with this government uh, we felt that after understanding all the issues we feel that uh, actions will be taken for the implementation of all these issues and this will return to university environment. So, so how, how does ASU plan to use the 21-day automaton? Are there scheduled uh, meetings or negotiations with government officials? Uh, the 21 automatons have been issued. We're expecting government to respond within these 21 days. And uh, upon which, if they turn their fear as usual to issues, then the National Executive Council will reconvene and evaluate the issues and possibly the action of government and do the needful. It's also also considering the uh, potential, uh, I mean the impact of uh, a potential strike on uh, students and uh, the education sector in Nigeria. You see, when, this, when these issues occurred of students, the potential effect is that we ask ourselves this question. Uh, we are part of the system. The union does not like strike. We never like strike. But when issues, when salary of members have been withheld, when promotion areas have not been paid, when renegotiation of 15 years ago is not addressed, then you will feel what is the essence of even the, as, as it is today, uh, federal government is signatory to so many uh, world organizations who clearly says, yes, within 15 to 20 percent of our budgetary allocation spending has to uh, take f between 15 and 20 percent. But as you, you are aware today, in this country today, the budgets, uh, budgetary spending of federal government is between 10% and average. The real average is between 6 to 5%. What would you see from the government that would make us uh, rescind or reverse this 21 day automator? The, the issue is we have gotten to a point that the, the government, just like what the Comrade President have just said, the federal government appears to have this physicated attitude of not addressing, addressing the issue, issues, not coming to the round table to discuss issues until either when threats are, uh, threat are being dished out or when the union will embark on strike, then the government will feel running hater scatter. There are issues that this, this automatum is given for government to have three good weeks to address this issue come back to the table and let's discuss and find a lasting solution to these issues. And if nothing is done, then the Nigerian public will have nobody to blame rather than the federal government. What alternatives to a strike has uh, ASU considered, if any? Well, I've told you, I've just told you that we don't like strike. The alternative for, for, for which ASU might consider not having a strike is for government to address the issue at stake. Are, are there disagreements within our situation, this 21-day ultimatum? What? Come again. Are there disagreements within ASU to issuing this 21-day ultimatum? Are you all on the same page? Of, of, of course, absolute, absolutely we're on the same page. The, I said the National Executive Council of our union held a meeting in uh, University of Ibadan and rose from that meeting and gave this automaton. 
and you, you, you just painted a, a, a scenario reminded us uh, that we have uh, different universities. What about those other private investors uh, and uh, some state-owned investors, uh, are they also on the same ride? Uh, private universities? Uh, the the, the state-owned universities, are they on the same ride with ASU? Uh, of course, what, what I mean by state university, I'm making reference to public universities. Yeah. Yes, both federal and state university were on the same page. Because uh, over 95% of students we have in Nigeria are in, uh, are in public universities. The universities, they call yes. it uh, the ivory towers. That's where think tanks uh, and every other uh, kind of research for the good of society uh, comes from. Uh, are you looking at working a long-term solution? I'm talking about ASU, working on long-term solutions to preventing future strikes, uh, because it looks like that's just the, the only thing left with ASU. Well, you see, we, we want to see a situation. We want to see in uh, Nigeria. We want to see the elites. We want to see the political elite. People at the aim of leadership will also reason and believe that, yes, when agreements are signed, when two parties come to the table and agree on issues, and take education as public goods, then we will begin to have a new dawn in well, solving our problem. Well, it looks like a fine place uh, for us to leave it. Uh, uh, Professor Kashim Umar, many thanks for coming and uh, best of luck as you have this conversation with uh, the federal government of Nigeria. We'll stay on this and we do hope uh, to uh, talk to you in the days ahead. Mm -hmm.